Let's have some fun with harmonic distortion. What is distortion? And what's this harmonic thingy? What's it? Today, you're going to find out. Learn audio online with Audio Masterclass. AudioMasterclass.com. Let's start with a totally clean sine wave of 100 Hz. That's all you'll hear, 100 Hz with no other frequency components. You'll need to be on speakers or headphones that can handle 100 Hz. If you're listening on laptop speakers, you probably won't hear much. Why did I choose 100 Hz? Well, it leaves plenty of room in the upper frequencies for harmonics, and that's what I'm interested in today. It would be nice to visualize this, so I'll play the 100 Hz sine wave through an oscilloscope plugin. We can see the frequency components more clearly using a spectrograph. There will be only one at 100 Hz. The spreading out at the bottom of the spectrogram plot is, so my mathematical friend tells me, due to spectral leakage. And you can either ignore it or look it up online. Let's just ignore it for now. So now I'm going to create some distortion. One way to do this is to insert a harmonic enhancement plugin. I'm going to use the Sound Toys Decapitator. I'll start with the default settings. We can also look at this in the oscilloscope. There isn't much to see here. But if we look at the spectrogram, now we can see that there's a strong component at 100 Hz, which we expect, and also components at 200 Hz and 300 Hz. So the plugin has created additional frequencies that were not originally present. 200 Hz and 300 Hz are whole number multiples of the original 100 Hz frequency. This is usual in string and wind musical instruments, and also the human voice. We call it the harmonic series. In this case, 100 Hz is the fundamental, and also the first harmonic. 200 Hz and 300 Hz are the second and third harmonics respectively. Because of the similar pattern of frequencies to the harmonic series, we call this type of distortion harmonic distortion. Right now, the distortion is fairly mild, but I can easily increase it using the drive control of the decapitator. Let's look at it in the oscilloscope. And the spectrogram. We can see changes in the waveform clearly. The tops and bottoms of the waveform have been squared off. The tilt is due to the low cut filter which is set to 20 Hz. Also, the positive going and negative going halves of the waveform are slightly asymmetric. Every change from the shape of the sine wave contributes to the sound texture. In the spectrogram, we now see a mass of harmonics, all at whole number multiples of the original 100 Hz fundamental. Some are missing, and I'll attribute this to quirks in the decapitator plugin. All of this is interesting, but how does it apply to a real world instrument? Well, here's an electric guitar ish. It's a software instrument guitar, and it sounds really quite weak, like a real electric guitar direct from the jack. But if I add the same distortion as I did to the sine wave, it sounds like this.
and with a little echo and reverb, and maybe just a touch of mod wheel while I play. At this point, it sounds perfectly usable musically, and would improve further with tweaking of the controls. And of course, this is just one distortion plugin and one setting. There's an almost infinite variety of distortion effects and settings from which to choose. The tune, by the way, is from Carolyn by Sky. I'll put a couple of links in the description. Oh, and if you think you can get exactly the same sound as the Carolyn solo from a software instrument, let me know. And if I think it's close enough, I'll feature your work here in this channel. Distortion is an amazingly useful audio process, and in this quick video, I've only just scratched the surface of the possibilities. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.